All right, we're back with another devlog. So if you watched the last video, we kind of just dove into Unreal Engine. Now we're gonna start making an actual game. Basically, it's gonna be an FPS. It's gonna be an FPS horror survival game based off of a game that has kind of a cult following on Steam. It's called Devil Daggers. We're gonna kind of combine the concept of that with some more horrorish elements here. Let me go ahead and show you. In Devil Daggers, you're basically just trying to survive as long as possible. And there's an achievement you can get at 500 seconds. Everyone kind of goes for that. If you can survive 500 seconds, you're like the top 1% of players. It's very hard to do. The game is very simple and it has very retro graphics as you'll see soon. I want to take this game and kind of apply it to some more horror monsters, I guess you could say. References I have is something like Greta from Love, Death and Robots. Um, this type of monster. And then some other monsters from, I guess, some anime shows that are just really cool. And that's gonna be the basic design of the game. And that's actually probably the hardest part about this is because I could do the programming, but making these enemies, the monsters, and the animations are gonna be tough. I don't, I haven't done that yet. So this game, it's called Devil Daggers. They purposely went with some very arcadey retro graphics. But this is the concept. Basically, it's one level, which is why it's so doable. You have this dagger and you just need to survive as long as possible. Whenever you kill one of those enemies, these little diamonds pop out. The only way to get the diamonds is to stop shooting. If you shoot, the enemies can suck up the diamonds for their own use. So you kind of, eventually once this gets wild, it becomes overwhelming. So you can see right there, ah, oh, I already died, let's do this again. And you can get more gems early on. So there's some strategy involved in this. Yeah, I'm doing awful. So you get the picture. I think the controls were kind of messed up here. What we're gonna do today is just get the project set up. Oh, no, no, you gotta stay. You can chill here. You can't, come. oh, oh. All right, you gotta go down. So right now we are literally just um, adding a logger so we can log out our errors. Once we play this, we should, yep, so there's our debug message. All right, so we just create, oh no. Oh no, okay, it's just compiling. That error scared me for a second there. So we have our character now, cool. We got a player class set up. We got a game mode class set up. We should technically be able to play this. We'll have our two debug messages there. And there we go, so that works. Uh, so far, so good. This is pretty simple. Maybe we take a little break here, huh? Let's do a little more market research and uh, play a couple of rounds of Devil Dagger. Yeah, I'm the worst. I, I <laughs> Things start coming around. Yeah, see, this is like, see the gems, which is not good. Shit. Like, what's the secret to getting the spiders killed fast? There we go, we leveled up. Ah! Let's go back to the game dev. Let's do what we're supposed to do. Stop getting sidetracked. Let's see if we can move this. That works. We can go left and right. We can't go forward and back. Wow. What did we do? This has gotta be something simple, right? Move right, float value, direction. We did pretty good today. I'm getting tired. Uh, we're gonna get back at this tomorrow though. We got a solid start. It's just kind of one of those things, you know, you just gotta keep on doing it, really. That's all it comes down to. Thanks for tuning in and uh, let's just get at this tomorrow.